Welcome back, Josh. Today, today, Josh and I are talking about this funky looking Porter cable machine here. And to be honest, I, I've seen this on Instagram and some other social. It's all very over. popular. Yeah, but I really don't. I didn't pay attention close to what it does. I'm assuming that it's some type of sander scraper type thing. Yes, that's what, exactly. What is so it? it's the Porta Cable Restorer tool. This right. is the PXR eight two six seven six. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Remember, remember that, that one? <laughs> so it comes with six sanding roller covers. All right. Two sixties. So in a kit, it comes with two sixties. Two 180s all right. and two 120s. So all and sanding. And this whole thing. But this isn't this isn't sandpaper. This nope. is something so else. So that's an abrasive wheel. So there are different. There's wire brushes, nylon brushes. There's uh, uh, abrasive sleeves, wool flaps, sandpaper slab <laughs> wow. flaps, ceramic stripper, uh, carbide stripping. Yeah. Huh. So woodworkers are using these. Metal workers, foam sculpting people Painters, are using these. Painters, obviously. Concrete removal and sanding. Body shops, cars on the metal, everything right. like that. What does this rubber guy do? So this is a rubber wheel to, for the sleeve that takes oh, on that holds the, them. Okay. Yes, and then what's cool is it's slitted, so you it, when you, it compresses when you squeeze and put it so on. So it holds, so it's not yes. slipping. Yes. Yep. All right. And they also yes. And this. So this is an abrasive wheel. So same thing. You put this. it on. Yeah, they're okay. all same wheels. So you pick for what you're sort of doing. There's a lot of people restoring reclaimed barnwood, and we happen to have some reclaimed barnwood mm -hmm. here. So if you weren't using this tool, what would you be using? A, a grinder or a scraper? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Because yeah. there isn't really too many things no. like this. No, and this, what, what's cool about this is it actually, is it'll strip the stuff down and bring back the beauty of the wood. Hmm. It's not damaging it. Like, there's a lot of products out there that actually Just sand rip. it down, take away the texture, the real character sure. of the wood, and that's what's cool. This doesn't. So this has got a variable speed on it. Um, the mortar's over the front, so it's ergonomically, it's very well balanced. Yep. But my, one of my biggest things is collecting all that dust, especially let's, when you're doing stuff like this. Well, let's do stuff like this. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, no, yeah. no dust. Cool. Isn't that cool? Uh-oh. So you also look. Isn't that cool? That is nice. I mean, it, hmm. and that was just a little bit, you know. Uh, and you had the trigger lock on, so you yep. thought. I mean, fatigue-wise, you're not going to lose that when you're doing stuff right. like this. So um, I'm going to unplug it here um, because what's really cool is how you change this out. It just comes out. This flaps off. The roller wheel comes. Oh, that's it's pretty that nice. That easy. Yep. So they also, to get these papers off here, they actually just released a new tool that goes in here to help you get these off, because it, it's a little once, hard to get them off. But so once they're on, they're yes. on pretty good. So this one has a smooth sleeve on the end with a key on the end of it here, and that key locks onto the end here. You can see that. Sure. But these are double-sided, so you just take it this. It doesn't matter which way you put yep. it in. Oh, it says this side up. Oh, I so can even, even I can figure that they're out. They're a little directional, yeah. Even you can figure it out. So you put the door back on. All you do is snap it in. And it's place. really not that. I mean, there was very little dust. No. And it's not noisy. No. So and three point. I mean, I'd still probably recommend wearing a dust mask, but I don't know. I don't know that you'd need hearing protection. That, well, the th you had it tipped up a little bit. So oh. if you tip it down a little bit yeah. more, you got to remember the surface contact is like a quarter inch that's hitting it. Right. You know what I mean? So that's why. And the impressive part, folks, is that this is three point five amps. So my wife doesn't like tools. She put her hands on this. Mm -hmm. she, she played with it. She had no problem with it. She wasn't scared at all right. because she, yeah, it's she, not like a super duper heavy loud and vibrating belt, belt sander all over the that's going to go flying no, out of your hands. No, no, and that's what's really cool about this. Hmm. So you did this. You got a brush. I got some sandpaper. I'm going to run this and show you guys. Uh, whoops! I probably got to plug it in. That helps. I'm sure the cordless version's coming. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here we go. Look at that. I mean, it took all. That is pretty amazing. That rough sun off that Ouch, fast. Slipper. Oh, can sand it good enough, faker? <laughs> yeah, it's really cool, and the variable speed's really cool too. Up and down, right? You can get it at really low RPM. So you're so. not just gouging the heck out of it. No, something. no, and the, and the variable speed's friendly. You know, if you want to start out for, you right. know, like my you're, wife who wants to start yeah, out not as high, or if you're sure. new at this, you just start using it. So, so. it's Porter cable. 
Restore? Yeah. And what does she go for? So this go, you're not gonna believe this. Mm -hmm. I want you to guess this one. 99.99. Yes. You <laughs> saw it, I told no, you. No, is that really what it is? Yes. <laughs> that's funny. That's not expensive for the no, tool, those rollers, not. a bag. Yep. I mean, that's, I, I don't know, that's an inexpensive price for a, a good product. And this and is longevity, Mark. It's not, this is a mortar, it's not belt driven, it's gear driven. Yep. It's a, it's a very, very cool tool that I think people should know about. Great. All right, nice, I like it. Yeah. We'll see you next time.